Hello, I'm Philip Stoats and I'm here at Electronica 2012 and I'm joined by Vincent uh, Bedouard from La Croix Electronics. Vincent, thank you so much for joining me. Uh, I've walked past your booth a couple of times. It seems very busy, lots going on, so obviously lots of customers. Start by telling me a little bit about your footprint through mm -hmm, Europe mm -hmm. and uh, a bit about the business. Yeah, actually, we are based uh, historically in France with mm -hmm. one plant. We have also a plant in Germany. A plant in uh, Eastern Europe, in Poland. Mm -hmm. We are there since more than 12 years. Mm -hmm. And uh, we are also in uh, Tunisia okay. uh, for more than five years. Okay. And okay. we have a, a small partner in, uh, in Romania, right. but it's not owned by Lacroix. Okay. And in terms of where you operate in the supply chain, you're not just in the um, PCBA uh, printing circuit assembly, you're, you're, you're more about the um, design and the aftermarket that's right, that's services. Right. Today we, we aim at uh, having a, a full offer, so design mm. plus manufacturing, and a, in a, I would say a full integrated company. Right. Uh, so we share one, one structural technical data mm -hmm. into an integrated ERP uh, to, to have the ability to, uh, to create this added value yeah. to the customer that they can go from the beginning design yeah. or also only yeah. from normal, yeah. I would say, manufacturing, yeah. and to, to, to follow their supply chain and to build, yeah. a, I would say, a custom solution for them. Okay, okay. And in terms of um, customers that respond well to that, you're in a number of different vertical markets. Which which of the verticals do you think are, are your particular sweet spots in terms of being able to service the market well? What, what do you in mean terms vertical? of their um, end products, such as automotive, medical, mm -hmm. those kind of markets, where, mm -hmm. where do you operate? Oh, so to, today, in the early uh, 2000, we were a lot focused on telecom market. Right. And, and today, this market the is not market is elsewhere. That's yeah. right. Uh, so, so we have re rebuilt the company, I would say, on key market. Our target, of course, we are out of all what is consumer mm. market. This is not. A, we are more in the professional market. Yeah. Uh, and then our target then is to to be to have the critical size for each market right. not to be dependent on one market yep. but to be big enough for each market so today we we have i would say a balance between some automotive business which right. is mostly in uh, eastern europe mm -hmm. uh, we have also a home automation business mm -hmm. either it's more low cost business mm -hmm. in poland and tunisia yeah. uh, with also some uh, follow up of the customer or support of the customer i mean with time to market offer yeah. with prototype Fast ramp up yeah. before we transfer, yeah. uh, and also we have some, I would say, more classical industrial market with complex products, right. specific needs, okay. uh, which is which are in Germany or, or yeah. France, uh, and of course we are more we have more and more difference and have unique business, mm. uh, either in France and uh, Germany, right. but also for I would say long life cycle product with right. hand work, manual work. Okay. We, we, we develop some product, a unique product in uh, Tunisia. Okay. Okay, and when you look at those different facilities you have in you know, France, uh, Eastern Europe, and um, North Africa, what do you think are the, are the particular strengths of those areas? Start with, start with North Africa. Is that, it's not just about low-cost labor down there. Not, not, of course, the manual, yeah. manual cost is important. Uh, our, our plant in Tunisia is, uh, I would say, is very good. Uh, it's typically for, I would say, a well balanced between SMT work mm -hmm. and manual work, uh, uh, and today we work a lot on this plan for I would say typical 5S lean <coughs> manufacturing. Right. To to, to, to uh, even if it's I would say North Africa, sometimes yeah. the, the image is not so good. Yeah. In Germany, about the, the quality could be very yeah. uh, very good. It's better when there is one type of product, and we can have some people focusing yeah. on I yeah. would say. Uh, uh, this type of product, yeah. uh, it's more difficult to have a change of customer mm. product. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so it's manual work, industrial work, integration yeah. for I would say medium to high volumes. Yeah, and and a relatively low, relatively modest mix. So there exactly, aren't exactly. Too many. Even even if it's manageable. Yeah. Uh, then we, then what we used to have is a. I would say a business unit mm. for a customer managing some mix, yeah. but at least the people are trained to work for this customer. Yeah. Yeah. So it, it needs a minimum size of business. Yeah. Yeah. And you're working in uh, industries like automotive and medical where there's mm -hmm. mission critical, life critical yeah, um, right. products. 
you have the various different approvals. Are they are they across the facilities or the? the so, so, so today, like I said, we are we are I would say an integrated company. So first of all, we have a, a corporate uh, certification. Mm-hmm. If you speak about certification, yep. qualification, yep. right? Uh, so we have a corporate. So we have all the same process and. Uh, then after we specialize our plant, it's mm-hmm. quite impossible to yeah. have all pl- yeah. uh, one plant doing yeah. everything yeah. and being good, good mm. doing this. So we specialize our plant. So we are uh, so ISO and ISO 14 uh, everywhere, uh, but uh, specialized in uh, uh, avionics in mm. uh, 9100 yeah. uh, in France and Tunisia. Uh-huh. Uh, automotive is uh, Germany and uh, uh, Poland, Poland. Yeah. Uh, and medical is also uh, Germany and Poland. Today. Okay. Okay, and you've kind of reinvented the business, reinvigorated it to, to move forward. How's the market responded to that? How is business in Europe for you at the moment? We, we had quite an interesting growth the past years, coming from five years ago, mm. about 80 million to now 170 million. Oh, wow. Uh, so it, it was uh, mm. both organic growth and external growth. Uh, today, I would say we see a, a slower growth. Mm. Uh, Around five percent, okay, uh, but a growth is, nonetheless, which is far for, for what we had mm. uh, some years ago, mm. which with two-digit growth. Yeah, um, two-digit digi- two growth forever is hard work, though, but isn't it's, it? It's according to me still possible. Uh, our growth is coming either from the market, yeah, from the electronic application in the market, mm. the uh, share of outsourcing in the yeah. market, our share compared to the competition, yeah. yeah, and of course the share of our customer on their market, yeah. So playing with these five All those axes, factors. yeah, there's a lot to do. I mean, it depends on. If we are good, we yeah. should we should get the. You growth. should grow. There's, there's an opportunity. Some, yeah, there are some opportunities. And and are there any markets you see particular opportunities in? Is it you know we talk about the automotive industry, cars are becoming computers with wheels on mm-hmm, them. Mm-hmm. Um, is there plenty of opportunity there? Uh, I would say all, all the market where there is some so, uh, what I call social societal needs. Okay. Power, yeah. energy uh, optimization. Yeah. Uh, healthcare, yeah. uh, of course. Uh, so t- today, automotive, we see more. Even if we hear that the mm. automotive market is difficult, we see more and more electronic application. Yeah. In avionics, uh, we see that the, the plane, the share of electronic in the plane, is almost double okay. in the following yeah. years, yeah. coming six to ten yeah. percent. Yeah. Uh, also, the home automation. Uh, this mm. is a great change, according to me, in the home yeah. automation that. The home is becoming a system, yeah. and for that, you need some regulation, yeah. automation, and and so this is for the house. Yeah. If you look at the energy, the smart grid yeah. gives a lot of opportunities. Yeah. The question for a company like uh, Lacroix is, what is the place for uh, some guys like us yeah. in the smart grid industry? Yeah. That there, there are some big names fighting mm. for that, and how we can bring some added value yeah. in, in automation or power supply. Yeah. Yeah, so it's key to have that technology yeah, and, around yeah. to be able to do and that. That's why also it's for different market we cannot have the same answer. Mm. We, we build more and more a dedicated answer for a dedicated market, yeah. and this that's why we, we need uh, and we invest in a design yeah. offer. Yeah, so you can tailor a solution to sure, each and, company and bring bring <coughs> some cre- some clear added value. Yeah, then some customer expect from us some design. So yeah. those are the. Okay, depending what is core business for them mm. or not, uh, yeah. decide at least usually to, to have co-design or what yeah. we call DFX. Yeah, yeah design this for, is key. Yeah, yeah. Design for manufacture, desi- designing for the supply chain. Mm-hmm. Absolutely key. Fantastic. Well, thanks for your time. Thanks for stopping by to chat. I You're hope welcome. the show continues to be a success and I hope we can talk again soon. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. To get you here quickly, you should start from here. And let us take care of everything in between. Flextronics SBS. Innovative manufacturing services.